right. You know what we want to see. We want to see that that this this uh, these good inflation readings that we've been seeing for the last three months. We want to see that it's more than just three months, right? We want to see you know the the, the labor market report that we received, the last one that we received was a good example of we do what we do want to see. It was a combination of, of uh, you know, of across a broad range of indicators, continuing rebalancing of the labor market. So those are the two things. Those are our two mandate variables, and, and that's, that's the progress that we want to see. But I think people, they want to be convinced, you know, they want to be careful to not to jump to a conclusion really one way or the other, but just be convinced that the data, you know, support that conclusion. And that's why... Uh, given how far we've come and how quickly we've come, we're actually in a position to be able to proceed carefully as we assess the incoming data and the evolving outlooks and, and risks and make these decisions meeting by meeting. Okay. And in your view, what would, I know nothing has been decided yet, but what would one more hike at the end of the year do to the economy or to inflation? On, and on the other side, what would no hike do if you could sort of game that out for us? So, you know, you, you can make the argument that one hike one way or the other won't matter, but for us, we're, we're trying, we've, obviously as a group, it's a pretty tight cluster of, uh, of where we think that, that policy stance might be, but we're always going to be learning from data. You know, we've, we've learned all through the course of the last year that actually we needed to go further than we had thought. If you go back a year and what we thought, what we wrote down, it's actually gotten higher and higher. So we, we don't really know and, until, and that's why, again, we've, we're in a position to proceed carefully at this point. Uh, a year ago, we proceeded pretty quickly to get rates up. Now, now we're, we're fairly close, we think, to where we need to get. Um, uh, it's, it's just a qu question of reaching the right stance. I wouldn't attribute huge importance to one hike uh, in, in macroeconomic terms. Nonetheless, you know, we, need, we need to get uh, to a place where we're confident that we have a stance that will bring inflation down to 2% over time. That's what we need to get to. And we've been, you know, we've been moving toward it as we've gotten closer to it. We've slowed the pace at which we've moved. I think that was appropriate. And now that we're getting closer, we, we, again, we have the ability to proceed carefully.